Hello boys, I'm Ivan Dice Effect Zero, Bow Fire Production, and next part Sakura Succubus 3. <coughs> so, one uh, thing before we start, that's not uh, underwear, that's a bikini. It's just because YouTube's uh, gonna say that's underwear, now you're banned or something like that. They always do that. But that actually looks uh, way more like a bikini than <laughs> actually underwear, so. I mean, who the hell would ever wear underwear that actually goes around your neck like that? I don't think they even exist underwear like that. There are only bikinis that exist like that, as far as I know, at least. But let's continue reading. You arms are raised, her dark hair is strewn across the pillows. And there's a soft, contented smile upon her pretty face. She must have kicked the bed covers off while she was dozing. I wonder if she is uh, a restless sleeper, because her torso is exposed. Her skin looks soft and silky beneath the lights of the chandelier. She really does look beautiful. I can hardly believe that uh, she's so interested in me, it feels like something from a dream. But this dream of mine will first become a nightmare It if I'm unable to figure out how to escape from this place. It's not as though I dislike you, I'm not sure I could. And that's not just because how cute she looks while she's asleep though, that is a part of the reason. It's clear that she does care for me, she's made her fond feelings more than apparent. I don't think I have the heart to spurn her. But I don't want to stay by her side for the rest of my life either. Yeah, that would be a pretty terrible relationship. I mean, you always have to have other people in your life, even though they are the same gender as the one you're together with. I'd like to return to Tokyo if I can, that's where I belong, not here. I wonder if Ifumu will be able to talk her around as we discussed yesterday. She might be the only person who can convince you to let me go. Okay, I have to move my phone because it's uh, interfering with the speakers. There, now it's on the table beside me. I wonder if Ifumu can be able to turn her around as we discussed yesterday, she might be the only person who can convince you to let me go. For now I put my faith in her, who knows, maybe things will pan out. I just need to have hope. Knock knock knock. Ah, uh, it sounds like somebody at the door. Who could it be? Excuse me Lady Yu, is now a good time? Hmm, what? She yawns, her eyelashes flicker open, revealing her pale icy irises. Yanni, she sits up uh, and glances to the door. Ifumi, is that you? Yes indeed, I come with your breakfast, Lady Yu. I made it myself in the traditional Japanese style. There's white rice, uh, miso soup, pickles and some grilled fish. I hope it's to your liking. Hmm, that sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. Alright, if you may, you can come in. Thank you very much, my lady. The door opens with a creak and if you may enters uh, balancing a tray in one hand. She shuts the door behind her then uh, approaches the bed where you and I sit, her tail swishing all the while. Smiling uh, serenely, she then rests the tray upon the bed. There you are, my lady. Please enjoy. I always do. Your cooking is delicious, Ifumi. Although, you appear at the tray curiously on hand beneath her shim. Ifumi must have been uh, pretty busy in the palace kitchen, wherever they are, because the tray is practically groaning with food. There's a veritable mountain of soft, fluffy white rice pillowed into the ceramic bowl, and she grilled five whole fish. It seems like quite a bit more than usual. I'm not sure if I'd be able to eat it all. You should know that I have deli delicate appetite. 
I am well aware, my lady. I just thought that given you have a guest, he put my glances at me, I should make more food in January do so that he might have some as well. You would not want Hiroki to go hungry, would you? Oh no, that is a good point. I didn't think... Forgive me for being so careless, Hiroki. It's been a long time since I last interacted with a human and I have forgotten that you need sustenance just as we do. Human males in particular. Well, kind of both uh, do, but at least, yeah, pretty much all girlfriends I had has uh, either not eaten at all or eaten very little. I mean, I have not been to bed with any girl that was, well, bigger than uh, the most uh, teenagers are, but they still call themselves fat, which they weren't. Which is uh, technically very stupid. I am truly sorry. It's fine, you. I don't worry about it. I offer you what I hope is a comforting smile. If we made enough food for both of us, so it's not like I starve. Indeed, she did. It was very thoughtful of her. If we has always been uh, a kind and uh, considerate woman, her advice has helped me greatly when it comes to the governing of my people. She is almost like a mother to me. A mother? I do like that idea quite a lot, but really... She giggles. I'm not that much older than you, Lady You. I would not uh, mind having a little children of my own someday that I might do uh, on, but you and I are not so far apart in age. If you must refer to me as a member of the family, I would far rather be regarded as your big sister. Why? You smirk thinly. Are you afraid that I put Hiroki off you if I comment above how advanced in years you really are? Goodness me. If you she turn a soft shade of pink. You are being awfully willful today, my lady. Is that any way to address me after I took the effort of making you such a delicious breakfast? I'm surprised to hear Ifumi talk down to you like that. I'm sure if Marina said words to that effect, she'd be pushed to the floor and ground beneath the heel of you's foot. Foot. You doesn't seem to mind being scolded by Ifumi, though. Her expression doesn't falter. Instead, she smiles sheepishly. I guess you're right. I'm sorry for me. I have been <laughs> working hard lately and I suppose I'm somewhat tired. You poor thing. You're always so busy. Yes, indeed. But uh, fortunately, I have my own. my lovely Hiroki to suit me. Hmm? If you may winch us, I wonder if she's upset. Her facial features soon uh, rearrange uh, themselves, however, into a smile. That's good and well, my lady. I'm very happy for you. You're not jealous? Not at all. Rather, I'm pleased for you. You must be glad that you have been able to reunite with Hiroki after so many years. He is quite a catch, is he not? He is indeed. You pouch, she shifts over to me, disrupting the breakfast tray and winds an arm about mine in the same manner Cosmo so often does. And he is mine. I won't have you gawping at him, Ifumi, no matter how much I like you. You had your phone with him, now it's my turn. Of course, my lady. If Umi bows her head, I wouldn't uh, presume to try and steal your beloved from you, when it is apparent how much you care for him. I may be older than you, but I'm not a scheming vixen. Good, I knew I could trust you. You're not la at all like Marina. You grips about my arm relaxes. Be sure now that you won't try to steer me out from under her nose. You turns her attention to the breakfast tray. Well then, I suppose I ought to eat something. I need to replenish my energy. I've been so awfully busy as of late. There's always something for me to do. It almost makes me miss my student days. Did you enjoy being a student? 
I didn't at first. I thought the lessons quite dull and tedious, and I didn't care for any of my classmates. Then I could tell that I was sub that I was subtly different, so they all kept their distance. It was a bit lonely. But then I met you. You smiled at me. I appreciate your company a good deal. You brightened up my time spent in the Tokyo considerably. It is because of you that I learned to tolerate humans. I had fun going on dates with you and learning more about human society. We went on a lot of, went a lot of places and did a good many things. I was so young and uh, carefree back then. Now it's my duty to remain here, in the succubus room, where it's always dark. The sun doesn't shine as it did in Tokyo and there aren't any cafes or amusement parks. It's quite dreadfully. dreary. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I did not have uh, quite so many responsibilities. But my burden will be at least un lessened. I think m m your company being with uh, you is uh, like a salve that heals my heart. Now? You scoops a spoonful of through his mouth water in his soup then brings it to uh, my lips. Will you let me feed you darling? I'm perfectly capable of feeding myself, but I oblige. I let you spoon mouthfuls of soup and uh, morsels of fish to my lips while Ifumi watches. If Ifumi yells about uh, our closeness, I rather suspect, despite her protest, that she is. She doesn't let on, her brow doesn't wrinkle. Instead, she smiles uh, placidly, her hands folded together at her front. She really is a wonderful actress. I've never seen anybody better at hiding their own emotions. It's impressive, but it's kind of sad too. I feel sorry for you, you who are obliged to stay in the soccer room and rule her subjects, but I feel sorry for Ifumi too. It can't be easy watching the person you love be pampered by another woman. Then again, didn't you have to bear witness to dozens upon dozens of events like this? She must have been observing me in the succubus room for quite some time. Did it break her heart to see me flirting with Ifume and resting my head upon her lap? Hmm. That was delicious. You finish as the last of the breakfast and sets down her chopsticks. Thank you, Ifume. Your cooking seems to... Uh, Get uh, better and better every time I see you. You're very welcome. Nothing makes me happier than watching people eat my food. <laughs> I trust you enjoyed it as well, Hiroki. Oh yes, it was great. The fish was especially good and I love the miso soup. I'm relieved. Fumi beams. I do most of my cooking in the human world now in my apartment. I'm rather more accustomed to my own kitchen than the one here, so I feared I might have made a mistake. I glad everything went well. Now, if we cast uh, an eye over you, she wearing nothing but her underwear. Would you let me help you with your clothes, my lady? If you like, that would be most appreciated. Alright then, stand up and I start uh, pampering you. You obey Sifumi's commands in a surprisingly obedient manner, like a child might. Though Hifumi <coughs> protested when you said she was uh, like her mother, there is uh, something motherly about her. Yeah, I have to agree on that. Watching her dote on you uh, is kind of sweet. Uh, that's the next picture, so... Uh, yeah, here. So, I suppose that was all I have for Sakura Succubus 3 this time now, so hit like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye!